Ahmad Abbas. Today we are going to discuss the one of the most important topics of the UV spectroscopy that is the Woodward Fisher group. Most of the times for the determining the structure or the differentiate between the structures or identifying the structure, we have to know the what is the lambda max of the structure. For this purpose, we have to calculate the lambda max of specific structure or any compound by using this rule that is Woodward Fisher rule. What is the main application of this rule? It is commonly used for calculation of the absorption maximum that is the lambda max. Simply we call as a value. For calculation of the lambda max, Woodward Fisher rule is commonly used. What is the use of the lambda max? We are moving the lambda max, we can identify which structure is present, which specific structure has a specific lambda max value. That's why knowing this value, we are easy to calculate the yeah, identified structures. <coughs> Firstly, this rule is discovered by Woodward and the Fishers, these two scientists. That's why it is called as Woodward Fisher rule. This is common. And mainly in various competitive exams, there are always there is question on the Woodward Fisher rule. It may be in the Young Farm, B Farm, Algebat, Niper, any exam that compulsory question will be asked of the Woodward Fisher rule. Today's exam that is Niper 2015, there are two questions of the Woodward Fisher rule. That's why first we discuss the very important rule that is the, that is the rule in the English spectroscopy that is the Woodward Fisher rule. Woodward Fisher rule commonly used, you know very well, UV spectroscopy is used to determine the conjugation present in our structures and various conjugated systems, various functional groups like carbonyl, which have the specific lambda max and the specific absorbability that is E value, epsilon value, that have been calculated by using the Woodward Fisher rule. Woodward Fisher rule mainly used for Calculation of lambda max in case of the dyne and in case of the anon systems. That is alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone. So simply called and it is anon. Woodward Fisher rule is mainly calculated for the ion system and the alpha, beta, unsaturated. It may be anon, it contains maybe aldehyde or for ethanol. That is alpha, beta, unsaturated anion. <coughs> First, we we'll calculate two. First, how to calculate? Uh, the lambda max of any structure before we starting the structures first we take what is the basic rules of the Woodward Fisher now what is the terminology that used in the Woodward Fisher rules first one is the homocyclic Example. The 
conjugation is present in the same way. See these carbons, four carbons. That is double bond, single bond, double bond. That is conjugation of time. Time is two double bonds. First, second. The time that is conjugation present in the same ring is called as homoanular dye. And conjugation, what is mean by heteroanular dye? The conjugation or dye present in the different ring. It means in, in two rings is called as heteroanular dye. See this one double bond present in this A ring and one double bond present in the B ring. In case of this, time is present in the only A ring. In this case, this star, this star one, those are the double bond. This double bond, single bond, then double bond. This is the conjugation which are present in different two rings. That's why it is called as heteroanular dynamic. And basic parent value of the homo anular dye is 253 nanometer or micrometer. And in case of the hydro anular dye, the basic parent value is 215 or in some books they are given as 214 nanometer. 214 this value given in the Pavia. In other all books they are mentioned as the 215 value. But uh, depend upon the calculation, you use both this value 250 or 240 nanometer. Now, why these values are different? Why, in case of homo and homo another time, the value, the lambda max, this lambda max value is greater than the theta of another time? You know basic values are these two. That is, for homo another time, value is the 253. And the for heteroanular dye value is at 250. What is the difference between these? See, this is very important reason for conceptual purpose. Always memorize this. The lambda max and epsilon value. It is also called as it is the absorptivity E max. It is also called as Emax for absorptivity. These two terms are very important to know the various transitions present in the structure that are maybe n pi transition, pi pi transition, etc. These transitions to differentiate these values are very important. That is lambda max and Emax. Lambda max and Emax. E, we already know. If lambda max of homo anular dye is greater than lambda max of the hetero anular dye, but E max of this is very important, E max of hetero anular dye is greater than homo anular dye. Why? Why this reason? What is this reason? What? It means what is the reason for behind this? The lambda max of homo is greater, but E max is lower. This is simple reason. That is Emax, write down this very important. Emax of hetero anular is greater and lambda max is lower. This is reverse is true for the homo anular line. In case of the homo anular line, lambda max, Emax is the lower and lambda max is greater. This is very nice relationship. And what is the reason behind this? Understand this reason because this is very important for our conceptual purpose or your knowledge purpose. Already we see this is homo anular line. This is hetero Okay? The this is four carbon that are present in the 
conjugation that is single bond double bond single bond double bond the pi orbital of this the p orbital of this double bond this 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 they strongly overlap strongly overlap in case of the homo annular ring but in case of these sorry in case of this there is not that much overlap between these these p orbital in case of the hetero annular ring because the distance in between these two carbon is very long and the presence of the ring in between each double bond that's why there is a not that much overlap occurs in case of the hetero annular ring but in case of the homo annular ring the double bond present in the same ring that's why overlap between the p orbital is more that's why as overlap is more the energy gap present between ground state and excited state this is the energy gap between ground state, that is delta e but the energy gap between ground state and the energy excited state will decrease due to this overlap as it, as in your rule as energy decreases wavelength increases that's why for homo annular line wavelength lambda is 253 And the hetero annular ring have the lambda match two fifty. I think it is clear now. And in case of hetero annular ring, there is a not much overlap. That's why the gap between ground state and the excited state increases. It means delta E energy also increases. As energy increases, lambda max value decreases. This is the basic reason. Otherwise, remember this reason because you know very well. Homo annular ring of two fifty three value and hetero annular. You mug up all these things, but really, what is the reason behind this? This is the actual reason. There are many reasons that are actually in the Robert Fisher rules. We are discussing one by one later on, but first we have to make concentrate on the how to calculate the Robert Fisher rule because this is a very important for our exam question. Uh, because mainly these are asked in the exams, not the reasons we are asked why homo has a greater lambda max than the hetero. This is for only conceptual purpose. You know very well now homo, what is homo and what is hetero. Now second concept, what is endocyclic double bond? What is endocyclic double bond? Endo means inside, exo means outside. Simple. This this is the endocyclic bond, and this is the exocyclic bond. The bond which are present inside the ring is called as endocyclic double bond. And exocyclic means the double bond which are present outside the ring. This is very simple, but in case of If structure contains two rings, this is the structure. Then, which is endocyclic and which is exocyclic? For first, for a ring, for a ring, these two double bonds are the endocyclic double bond, but these are the exocyclic double bond for this ring. Why? Simply see, this is the endocyclic to this end. That's why the two endocyclic double bond present in the A and one is the exocyclic double bond. This is very important. And for B ring, there is a one endocyclic double bond. There is, and there is, there is an absence of exocyclic double bond for the A ring. If In case of the position change, position of double bond change, same. Now see, 
there is the exocyte double bond present for the BE ring. This is how to identify the exocyte and the endocyte double bond because this is very important because during the calculation of the load pressure rule, we have to add 5 nanometer for each exocyclic double bond. What is the reason? Because we don't add uh, endocyclic double bond value. We only add in structure exocyclic double bond increment, not add endocyclic. What is the reason behind this? We will discuss later on. Because we have not that much time to discuss this. First we discuss how to calculate input pressure, then see the, what is the reason behind each increments. This is endocyclic and the exocyclic. Next, then see what are the different values. See the chart, different values to calculate the lambda max of any given structure. First see the parent value for, this is for dyne. First we see for dyne. There are the two systems that is alpha, beta, unsaturated, anon, and second one is the dyne. Firstly, we see the dyne system because this is very commonly asked in the papers. The, the parent value for butadiene system or cyclic conjugated dyne system. The lambda max value that is wavelength is the 270 nanometer or micrometer. Same, same unit. But listen. These are not given in many books. This value. Please remember this value. These are not given in many books. Actually, I have collected this from net. Internet, the value or directly the value is given for Dupta dyne is at 270. And for cyclic conjugated dyne, also have the 270 nanometer. And for the acyclic trine, Dupta dyne, you know very well, CH2, CH. Double bond CH, double bond CH2. This is the Buddha line which have value 270 nanometer. And for trying, trying is simply we add one double bond extra. And for this system, the value is the 245 nanometer. This is very simple. Only you remember or memorize the basic values of each increments and the each parent value until now until unless you memorize this all the value you don't calculate the Woodward Fisher rule because you have to solve the Woodward Fisher rule firstly we memorize this all the, all these values of the Woodward Fisher that is for cyclic time this is 245 homo angular conjugated time the 250 nanometer and for intro angular time 250 nanometer we are already Discuss the reason behind why homo angular conjugated dyne have the higher lambda mass than the hetero angular dyne. Next, for alkyl substituent, any alkyl substituent that present on the ring residue increases 5 nanometer increment. And for exocyclic bond, for each exocyclic bond, there is an increment in the 5 nanometer. We will discuss in the structure how to how these increments are increased in the structure calculation. And this is the double bond extending conjugation. For this basic value is a 30 nanometer. What this means by the double bond extending conjugation? Many students confusing in this term. What is means by double bond extending conjugation? See this double bond. Extending conjugation. Suppose simple structure. This is benzene. Okay, 